Right now, under the law, he's a deadbeat dad. Today, he turned himself in to the judge's order. Scared because I've been before this judge before. But this time he had attorney Cherica Harris, who volunteered to help after seeing his story on 7 Action News. The judge said he will not. Yo, thank you for watching my video. And today makes the 100th video on this channel. I just want to thank you guys. Today is a uh, really good subject. We're going to be talking about this child support. Uh, and at the very end of this video, and I got a clip where this guy claims he knows a hack, a hack to lower your monthly payments. And uh, you just got to watch it in the video. But within the video, we're going to be sharing top 10 unknown facts, ver uh, percentages, all kind of data, do's and don't do's uh, when it comes to child support cases and when you're fighting child support cases. So this is going to be on your men's perspective. So guys, Please enjoy the video. If you like and find some value in today's video, like the button. Like the video. I'm sorry. Like the video. Wild and unbelievable stories here in Detroit. This is one of them. This is one of them. Imagine being told to pay child support for a kid that is not yours or go to jail. That was the order the state handed down to a Detroit man. So today he turned himself in, but here's what happened when 7 Action News reporter Kim Rosso went with him to court. Carnell Alexander walked into the Frank Murphy Hall of Justice knowing in moments he could lose his freedom. I stayed up all night, couldn't sleep, thinking about it. Carnell is a wanted man because he refuses to do what the state orders and to pay child support for a child that DNA tests prove isn't his, a child he doesn't even know. I haven't even had a chance to really speak to him except for one time when we took the DNA test. Nonetheless, right now, under the law, he's a deadbeat dad. Today, he turned himself in to the judge's order. Scared because I've been before this judge before. But this time, he had attorney Cherica Harris, who volunteered to help after seeing his story on 7 Action News. The judge said he will not go to jail for today. Thank you. Thank Ms. Harris. And hope that we can resolve this soon. I'm just trying to help him with his future. Though the threat of jail is on hold, it is not over. Carnell Alexander still owes more than $30,000 to the state for a child that's not his because the mom wrote his name down because she needed to name someone in order to get welfare benefits. And I had to put him down as the father. That was the only way I can get the system. Now. I'm almost homeless. I'm almost in jail. I'm out of work. My money is being threatened to be taken. Carnell isn't just worried about how this is impacting him. He says the law needs to be changed. So when this happens, as it often does, other men don't become dad by default. We can be defaulted into being a father of a child that is not ours. I don't understand that law, but it, it is a law in place. In Detroit, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. Yeah, you would think that mother would have to pay that money back instead of him, who's not the father's child. Wow, what a touch at the end. So, for you guys that did not know this, all right, in some states, there are laws put in place where if you somehow assume guardianship or uh, of a child, even if it's not yours, you're still responsible for the support and welfare of that kid. If you marry uh, a woman that you really love and the kids are not yours, but you know, you're know you legally bonded, you're legally now bonded and through marriage to tend to this kid. So y'all get a divorce, she can really put you on child support for that and it's not nothing heard of in california there's proven cases here as well in detroit as well as in florida from one of my viewers uh that also confirmed this yes it is a real thing guys so <laughs> you might want to think twice before you really get married to a girl or you want to make sure that any pa paperwork that your name is going down is legit. You're not listed as a guardian. You're not listed as a parent. You're not listed as a uh, anything that could potentially put you in a predicament like Cornell. All right, so in this next clip, uh, this lady is gonna tell you what not to do or one of the few things not to do uh, when you are fighting a child support case. Let's watch this clip, guys. You send money to your child's other parent and it is for the purpose of child support. Make sure you put that in the memo. Don't you dare exchange cash. You a drug dealer, you better transmute that money and, <laughs> and figure it out. When you make those payments and you do not put in the memo child support, you have just gifted her or him money. You can put recurring payments, you're writing a check, 
put in the memo of the check. Don't you dare exchange cash. You will not get credit for that. Even though this should be common sense one-on-one, -on -one, uh, there this is a large mistake because the ease of just switching cash right now is just makes more sense, right? But in today's world, there's all kind of cash transferring apps, Zelle, Venmo, PayPal, Cash App, all those in which you can leave notes in which you can pretty much guarantee that, hey, this is set in stone that it's for childcare, okay? Child support, okay? So that way, when it, if this is ever brought up, you were actually supporting your child financially, you wasn't just leaving them out, you don't, you don't accrue some sort of giant child support debt, you know? So other things, you know, some, some facts is, you know, when it comes down to modification requests, about 40% of men petition the court for modification of child supports. Payments due to changes in income or circumstances compared to just 25% of women. Of course, that number is probably skewed because more men are on child support, right? And again, more men tend to make more money. So that number does get skewed, okay? So when it comes to income disparities, on average, men facing child support cases experience a 10 to 30% reduction in income following court ordered payments, while women's income typically remains stable or increases. This source is from the US Census Bureau, and I just can't believe it. You know, typically a woman does not affect, when it comes to child support, come on now. We all know if these numbers are based on averages, we already know men get the worst. You're saying a 10 to 30 percent reduction. All right. Now, some people put their self on child support. That's active fathers. Those active fathers know that, hey, look, you know, I've been taking care of my kids. So they might not hit you with a large 30 percent out of your income. That's really tough, especially when you're facing taxes and child support is not a pre-taxed deduction so obviously you get paid based on what income the court you present to the court and the court makes you pay a certain amount but what i'm saying is that certain amount comes out of your check but before they take that amount guess what they do they tax you on that same amount you have to give up meaning hey you get paid they take out all the taxes on that whole amount of your check and then they remove your child support payment so now you're making even less money when if it was a pre-tax deduction, they could have taken your child support out and with that lower amount tax you on that, then you pay less taxes. So uh, not only are you just fighting the government and uh, you also have to fight the deduction for your child support. Now, since men are always at the bottom end of money, let's just jump into a clip where this lady actually gets penalized based on what she says. She spoke too soon. Based on her income, that brings her child support obligation to $2,300 per month. Reimbursing you for the health insurance that you carry for the children every month is $255. Bringing your monthly child support to $2,550. Okay. God, I, I, I like no, that. excuse God, me. Wait a minute. Like I don't get paid monthly. Oh, I, it's according to how my houses are flipped. So if I go a month without flipping a house, what? Why did you do this? You no, 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 no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Excuse me. I went off hey, with you right. said you, you said your honor I make about one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Did you say that? I did. I did. I did. I did. I did say that. Right. 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 You, you did. You did. You did say that. So the cap, the that's what I based shut it up, on. Shut up. Shut up. Therefore, that's what your child support amount is going to be, two thousand five hundred fifty dollars. So I hope you can flip enough houses to make that flip some more for these children. Is there anything further, ma'am? Um, yes, can I just ask a question? As far as sure. the tutoring, mm -hmm. what if I take my children to tutoring? What? You can, you mean like take them in a car? Yeah, like if I take them to tutoring, can every like reduce that? Yeah, I don't want to I, that, no, I didn't, I didn't say you. To I answer, said my children. The, you said that you're, you're did, did you ask me the question or did you ask him the question? Okay. Oh, okay. To answer your question, no. Yes. It does not. It has no impact on that whatsoever. Transporting your children to tutoring is called parenting. All right. Is there anything further? Can I go? Oh, sure. As soon as I dismiss you. Is there anything further, sir? I just want to no. say, yeah, God has blessed me in ways that I can't right, imagine. So now so you I want just, to bring God in it. I just appreciate Ooh, you, you so for, for understanding Ooh, you my frustration and my pain. And 
Oh, well, yeah, I didn't make a ruling based on your frustration and your pain. I made a ruling based on what the law said I can do with what's in the best interest of these children. Oh, and if there is nothing further, you both are dismissed. Me and my little teacher. Yes, about he was to a little teacher. Walk out with this $2,000, though. Please pay that man what you owe that man. Please pay that man, because it looks like he's the primary uh, custodial parent anyway. If he's getting that. So when it comes to primary, primary, excuse me, custodial agreements, here's another fact. In contested custody cases, men are granted primary or joint custody in only 20 to 30 percent of cases compared to 70 to 80 for women. That's the National Parents Organization. Of course, we almost never get custody of our kids. So you're saying two out of three, uh, two to three times out of 10 men are able to gain primary or joint custody. So that just tells you the chances aren't great for men, but uh, you know, the, you still have a strong chance and to get what's rightfully due just like this guy. All right, since we're talking about things not to say while in court, let's also talk about things that you don't want to request for, okay? So in this next clip, lawyer from California tells you uh, to be very careful about what you are arguing and what you are contesting in court. Sometimes it doesn't make sense to argue with the judge or to request something to the judge when you're in court for a child support case. And I will tell you why. So in California, there are child support add-ons. That means that you are responsible for paying half of child care expenses that is incurred by a party to attend school or work and half of medical expenses not covered by insurance. A lot of people have issues with child care that's provided by a family member or a friend. Their argument is that there is no real proof that they're actually paying for child care if the child care is being paid to the other party's mom, for example. But you have to be really careful with making that argument because the judge could then order for you guys to have child care be with a professional facility, which is usually a lot more expensive than what your mom or your aunt or your friend is charging you to care take care of your child. And the court can order you to pay more than 50% of child care expenses. So not everything is worth fighting for in court. Well, I would be mindful too, all right? You're already getting away with one. You just shot yourself in the foot pretty much by adding on another responsibility, all right? So uh, some other things to worry up, some other facts, you know, non-custodial parent poverty, all right? So um, nearly 20% of non-custodial fathers live below the poverty line compared to 5% of custodial mothers. So that just tells you right there, one out of five guys who are on child support live below the means and they really are having a tough time taking care of themselves. And then father, father involvement impact. Fathers who are actively involved in their child's lives are 40% more likely to pay child support regularly and on time. So uh, mothers, if you're watching this, just know, all right, it's very important, A, to have your child's dad in your life but if you want things to really work out for the best interest of the child you want to make sure that your child's dad is involved and for some of you guys that are really going through hell and back fighting the case that most likely is a false one or you feel like uh shouldn't be right in the first place just know there's other guys out there that's standing with you and supporting you this next clip tells a story about a man that's going through hell and back. And uh, yeah, you feel sorry for him, but guys, you're not alone. Hey everybody, uh, I got some questions about my um, fighting a child support case that was against me since 1998. My children are grown. I discovered in 2015 that there was a child support case on me due to the mother that told me I'm gonna get you for back child support. I said, when did you get me for front child support? Now, many would think you get mail, they call you, they find you, they can find you through taxes, through working, whatever, never. 
never, never received a letter, never on the taxes where I had my kids and her on, never. They had me in court 2004, never went to court. Why would I go to court? You're living in my home. I'm taking care of all the bills. Now, from 98 to 2007, remember, you have bills. We live by the beach. That means you have the rent. That means you have car note, insurance, phone, gas. I mean, everything. Imagine it if you're my age. Fighting this case, they closed bank accounts. They falsified mail uh, letters to old addresses. But it's not even a child support case. It was on medical. Where this girl could have just asked me to do half of medical. But she tried to get more money. They had me in 2004 in court with no summons. But have my signature. I just discovered a way of getting my license back that they took from me illegally. This is, let me say right now, this ain't for you raggedy son of a bitches that's not taking care of your children, guys or girls. This is for us to do the job and basically go through hell and back for what? Because I don't want you. You wanna run the streets, run the streets. This goes for a boy and a girl, not a man and woman. I just discovered on how to get my license back and discovered some other things. There's a $6 billion lawsuit against them. Child support is not a law, it's a guideline. That really shouldn't be. So, if you're having troubles out there, please do your research. Do your research. You want a part two to this? I'll give you part two. There's ways of you beating your case. And there's a few things on here, but I haven't found a case like mine. Oh, it's so deep. I've went through everything you can imagine. But if you're out there and you're going through the troubles and you're doing your job as a man and a woman and you're taking care of your babies, baby, wife, husband, keep your head up. I want you to keep your head up because it's looking great for me. It's looking great for me. So I know if you keep your head up, it'll work for you too. I just want to put that out there. I don't mind sharing it because I know that I did right and I've been doing right. And I'm still fighting this case and I'm going to win this case. I'm already winning it because they have to give back what they've taken and have to explain what they've taken. So if you want a part two to this, part three, it's a lot to it. So I'll continue where I left off, but this is just to get out there because a lot of people have asked me, seeing what's going on, one of their license, one of the things like that, you know, hit me up in the comments and we could talk about it. But if you out there doing wrong to a man and a woman that's doing their job, shame on you, man. You know, never bring the kids into anything dealing with the government. Do what we got to do in the household, make things right for the babies, and keep the babies number one. Don't be selfish. Peace. See, guys, hey, you're um, not alone in this fight. Uh, I, got some I really hope that about you uh, uh, find uh, some peace. Fighting a child support battle, case man, whatever it that may was be against me since 1990. All right. This next clip, just as I promised in the Children beginning, this guy is going to share his number I one hack at Lauren Payne. So there was a uh, let's just jump me. into Dude it, man. I'm not going to hold you no uh, no longer. Uh, told me I'm going to get you And if you did find value in this video today, I man, you like it, please, I mean, please hit that like button. Now, hit the subscribe button. Uh, let me know if you enjoy content like this and the way it's put together. Call you, I appreciate they find you guys. You, they find you. Welcome. This is Ask Terry Henry, and I'm going to teach you how to beat the child support system. This is not for the good women who are working and the men are being sorry. This is for the sorry. This is for the good men who work to take care of the children. The women are just greedy. All you got to do is get you a company, put everything you own in your company's name. Get with a company called Paychex that deal with the IRS and the payments. You let them pay you eight thousand an hour as an employee of your company. And now you wait about a month. You go back to court on your eight dollar an hour status because you got to remember the company pays everything. The company pays the bills. The company pays your car note because now that car is no longer yours. It's a company car. Your house is no longer yours. It's a company residence. Everything is in your company's name. You pay yourself $8 an hour minimum wage as an employee. You go back to court as an employee of the business. You show them what you make, which is legally binding because you're paying the IRS, IRS taxes on that. And then they're going to reevaluate what you owe for the children. My homeboy in Louisiana named Quincy, he was paying eight ninety three in South Support. I helped him out, got him started. Now he pays two fifty in South Support, dropped him down over $600.
it's, it's nothing in this world that doesn't have a loophole that you can get around.